friends this is an inhaler from hacks and security in this video i will tell you how to delete shortcut making virus uh, it's usually in your usb or your cards etc in memory cards uh, and how to delete the desktop.ini file which opens itself at the startup okay Okay, let me give brackets to it so let's go first of all let me show you my pen drive see my pen drive has got affected with a virus that has made all things shortcut and I can't see the original files I have scanned this pen drive with an antivirus bit defender I have a bit defender uh, but still uh, though the virus was found and killed down by my antivirus still I could not retrieve, retrieve my files so let's have a look at how this virus works and what the hell this virus has done I can't see my files now I will click on their view options and I will go to view and when I click there uncheck this hide protected operating system files yes see now it's unchecked earlier it was checked when I click it apply I click and show hidden files and folders when I click apply oh I can see my files and folders they are there they have not been deleted but the shortcut has been made and they have been given a new property let me check any one of them say this one they have been given a new property they are hidden also and protected also so you know uh, there are commands for such things by which we can easily change such things into we can easily manage all such things so let me again do that our normal view which we saw earlier apply okay so this is what we have to deal with and we know the commands so what i would be doing is i would be opening a cmd if you don't know cmd there are two ways either you go there write the cmd you will find it or again let's go to desktop and i would see this thing i would be pressing this key and this key r plus windows okay when i plus r plus windows i get this thing okay and i will write the cmd okay enter and this will open you can do it in all windows that's why i have shown this so earlier i am there first of all i will check which drive is it it's d hpd so it's actually like this you can see it's d drive c e f d so i will i have to go in d i will put the d and enter see there are two this uh, colon also after d you can see d colon you will be inside d now see this sign uh, okay after uh, if you could not understand how i did it let's again open cmd i will d colon enter so now i am inside d and now i will write a property at rib minus s minus h after space these are and dot I will mention this command in the description please see the description of the video also slash s space slash d and enter you can take slash l also if you want it won't make any difference I will tell you about all this enter when I open it I can see my files there yeah my files are all right what this command stands for is I have I am changing all the files to known system files known hidden and this stands for all and this stands for uh, subdirectories uh, this sorry s stands for folder and d stands for uh, directories well uh, what does that mean actually earlier these files were system files so they when uh, you use if I suppose I use plus s there suppose I use this attribute plus s 
plus h star dot star this is just to show you our work has been done slash d and enter sorry this one i can't see anything there actually even the links have been changed into uh, everything that was there has been changed into system file so again uh, let me show you what it is actually being done if i write only uh, let me show you what i mean you, you people may not have gained me so let me write it attrib say minus s minus h dot star if i leave it like this the folder will not come i can't see the folder see uh, all the shortcuts have come all the files have come but the original folder has not come because i have not used s s stands for folder d stands for subfolder or subfiles okay i mean sub directories it stands for attrib i will say minus s i will say minus h i will say dot i will be completing it now uh, i will use now slash s slash d enter i will get the folder also now i got the folders also so this was what i mean uh, this you can use this property to hide files and folders also to hide and unhide them now we have links also we don't need links why we need them we don't need so we shall be doing a little trick del star dot l n k enter all the links have been removed so basically you have to use only two things you have to use this thing i will mention this clearly in the description of the video please uh, see the link there if i give or see the description carefully and when this when i give this command and when i gave this command and yeah this command i gave after uh, in cmd i had gone to that thing i was going to d you could see first i went to d only then i gave this commands so this was too so easy and now my drive is all right i can copy and paste anything there nothing will happen you can try that yourself so and another thing uh, there's another bloody thing that we say desktop dot ini something let me search where is it it would be there well actually there's also a system protected that that's another virus that opens when we start let me show you that virus also and how to handle that some of you may get that some day that's why i am telling you this is that virus when i whenever you start your computer it opens like this so it's uh, too much irritating why it opens you don't have to take much burden open this cmd sorry run again uh, i will be using this and this windows plus r i got it now i will type their shell double dot start up and enter i have gone to uh, uh, the startup i will delete it delete it from there again i will open the run windows plus r again i got it now i will do the common startup i will mention all these things in the description okay again i got there i will delete this also your work has been done now this virus won't open when you restart or oh, sorry this file won't reopen actually this is a type of hotter and virus start a virus uh, actually it doesn't harm but it's irritating so thanks for watching this video if you have any doubt in commands etc you can ask me we can discuss more of such things uh, okay you can like my page uh, hacks and security you can join our group hacks and security on facebook to have a better interaction with us thanks for watching this video.